Hi, my name is Stevie Boy. I'm a fashion designer and stylist to the stars. It's me, Stevie Boy. It's people like Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Rihanna, Madonna, that shade, because it rhymed, and a couple other people. A woman who walks in the room with glasses like this is not there to cause trouble. One of the greatest moments of my career was waking up in the morning in my loft back in the day in Baltimore City and just getting on the computer, minding my business, and my good, good friend Michael Antonio telling me, Stevie, your eyewear is on the cover of Vogue magazine. And that completely changed everything. I definitely feel that was a big defining moment for me, having my eyewear on the cover of Vogue magazine. Vogue magazine. How big could you get outside of the fashion bible? Uh, a week after that, I had another Vogue cover, um, and I also had a Vogue spread a year after that, and that's what continued my Vogue magazine compilation of spreads and editorials and which is a big deal as a fashion design designer especially without any experience being a fashion designer for 20 plus years only doing it for less than five without holding on to the other monkey right. bars hold on to any other monkey bar. right and i need to make sure i have my slippers and put that in my what purse so right now <laughs> my team is preparing for our New York Fashion Week show. And the colors are like that people. it's gonna be amazing with the colors. So, I am Shay. Shay! Shay! Hey, Shay! Hey! I am Stevie's makeup artist. Hey! Oh, wait, pause. She's not just a makeup artist. Personal assistant. And basically a stylist. Consultant. And apparently she's an astronaut. I do it all. Everything Team Stevie. That would be me. Let me tell you something about her. She is so freaking awesome. We're like Method Man and Red Man back here. We are. You're not getting Honey, we got a labor out one. No. I never know what type of adventures we're gonna get into. It is possible to do a runway show here. But it's gonna be short, it's gonna be very short. Be so Winston is my manager. Actually, technically, he's my branding manager. Hi, Winston. I am the president of Stevie Boy LLC. Winston is. Hmm. I don't know. Very Winston. <laughs> no, he's fun, but he's very. He's fair for a square. He's very square. Very educated. Very conservative. So Stevie is the head designer and he's the face of our company and I am the one who is in the background working the majority of the business. Very conservative. Being that we are a small company, he and I are actually cover a lot of each other's lanes despite the fact that we have clearly defined roles. I want something that's classically fashionable that will last in 20 years. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> and yeah. I have an amazing team that works with me. They definitely help me take this brand to a bigger level, expand, and grow. Meeting up with my manager to talk about Fashion Week and more so do the venue walkthrough. There's a lot of construction. What is going on? Hey Dreamers, it's Cameron Washington, creator and president of DreamNationTV.com and I want to welcome you guys to our new DreamNationTV.com experience. So I hope you're going to take some time, hang out with us on the site. We've got new reality series, we've got new fashion content, and new music content. So uh, stick around with us and uh, enjoy the site.
Shamara. Moshe. Lady. Desi. The show must go on. My name is Aaron Andrews. I'm the social media director for Dream Nation TV. As a social media manager, I'm bringing messaging to our brand, DreamNationTV.com, making sure our messaging is consistent across all platforms and engaging with the audience. My name is Aaron Andrews, and you're watching DreamNationTV.com. So today I am in New York City. I'm super duper excited. I am meeting up with my manager to talk about Fashion Week and more so do the venue walkthrough. Yes. Good morning, Shay. Good morning. Hey, girl. What's the tea? I have one. It's called cold. Finally, we've arrived in New York. Oh, mm, one, two, three, oh, several hours later. Clearly, I'm sitting in this vehicle trying to have an attitude, but sir, Stevie laugh a lot won't let me have it. And at the end of the day, he's my good friend and I'm never really mad at him. We're gonna get gummy worms. Let me tell you, when we was in Starbucks earlier, I brushed my teeth, but without toothpaste. <laughs> Yeah. So did you really brush your teeth? Yeah, with water and toothbrush. <laughs> I brushed them down, honey. Like, I had to do something because I was rushing to try, you know, get myself together. I'm hungry. I think we're just the both. Nerve. I think we're just both hungry. The nerve. What? You're hungry. You want breakfast? No. I there, want breakfast. There is no breakfast in the schedule. We no longer have no, availability to eat we until have, midnight. We literally, that's absolutely disrespectfully true. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what? Oh my God. Like, I am so super late right now. Like, I have to get to the venue in the next couple of minutes, aka like hours ago at this point. But um, I'm glad that we're going to this new venue now. I am excited about the venue. I can't lie, I'm a little scared. Why? I don't know. We don't have a spirit of fear. We don't have anything. We don't have the spirit of fear. Yes, God, we don't. Yeah, we're a little nervous. But I do nervous. have the spirit of... Nervous? You don't think everything's going to be the way that you want it to be? I think it's just more so that... um. I don't know, it's just a new venue. One of the biggest reasons why this is so important to my brand is more so because I'm stepping into a new genre of fashion. This is something completely different than I've ever done, but also very mature for me. So I think that's really important to me. There's a lot of construction. What is going on? Is that construction? Are those scaffolds outside the venue? Hmm. Often I misunderstood but that's cool because once you get to know me, um, actually a lot of fun. I mean, all my personalities think I'm really fun. Hey everyone, take a snapshot of your favorite show clip and a hashtag all eyes on Stevie. I'll be picking three of you to join me for my New York Fashion Week after party. I hope to see you there. Yo, this is Bernard Hawkins, Light Heavyweight Champion. You're watching Dream Nation TV. There's a lot of construction. I'm really hoping that this doesn't, you know, get in the way of my show. I know, no, but look at the guy next to him though. Why does he look like he's gonna what's up? You go first, he looks mad. I don't know. I think we should pause it. So Stevie is notoriously late. Um, 
but I always make use of things because from my military background, I tend to be very early. And it's only $39,000. $39,000. $39,000. Very expensive. Very not. You Probably not that. expensive enough. Should be a little bit right. higher in price. Clearly, I'll take this. It's so funny because usually times like this is so stressful, but the good thing is that Shay is with me today. So we're gonna have a great time. It is possible to do a runway show here, but it's gonna be it's short. Gonna be and very short. we put chairs down, we limit the number of people. I think the presentation bring. aspect is nice considering it's an art gallery. There is art on the walls. It kind of gives mm -hmm. you this art installation. I think it flows. It, it, right, I agree. And then with the all white, and yeah. it's not like we're doing like all black or anything like right. that. Right, and, and the it's colors, that's why I said it's gonna be amazing with the colors. So, right. And that's been something we've been wanting to do for a while. Yeah, for a while. So this is finally the venue for that. We can actually achieve that. Absolutely. I agree. I know it's great. I'm not so, as nervous yet. I am obsessed with this venue aside from me being late. I love this venue. Last time I checked, the pictures, the lowest and the cheapest picture, according to Shay and myself, are $35,000. $35,000 for a photo? Sounds like my type of venue. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I mean 3D artwork. I'm talking metal. I'm talking $39,000, $60,000 sculptures. Colors everywhere. I'm seeing New York City streets. I'm seeing huge windows. I'm seeing, yes! But that construction out of the front. Strike one. I just hope honestly some of that construction is kind of out Yeah, of right. Well, do they theory, know what the schedule is? Theory it ends in January. But <laughs> this is this is New York and AKA the structure, right? Can go so, on forever. Um, but the, this front side should at least be cleared up. Just looking around right now in this moment, I can definitely see this being the spot. So for our hair and makeup. Okay. But if we do a gallery side, I'm thinking we cut down the number of models and cut down the hair and makeup. So you're thinking no more than 15 models? I'm thinking 10. I agree. And then, at least 10 to yeah. 13. And then do hair, hair and makeup um, a lot more condensed. So maybe if we can get it earlier during the day because we want as much of space as possible. Because you could also use this as a VIP room if you hair and makeup is in it. Now, in regards right? to whatever celebrities we could possibly have come, mm -hmm. where would we put them? They would have to just be in this room as well. I'm starting to notice that the windows are huge. Where are the models gonna get ready? The people from the street can see me and I can see them. That I works. really like this. I like mm -hmm. this area for this. Well, the art is extremely expensive. Yeah, it's very nice, very but nice. it's extremely expensive. It one of the paintings was like $39,000. That's the one you'll be buying me. Don't yeah, forget. I'll be buying that for her this apparently question. one day. One I can definitely see the vision for the show, but more so I can see myself expressing all of my art and everything like it It works for me First impressions are lasting and you only get one chance to make them and welcome to the music channel on DreamNationTV.com. I'm Brittany O'Rourke. I hope you stick around. We've got a lot going on on this channel right now. You're gonna see some of the hottest celebrities, a little bit of gossip, a lot of fun, some bloopers. You'll see me out in concert, interviews, wilding out, because it's what I do, and I'm here to show all of that to you right here at Dream Nation TV. Okay. So the first one, the first look is going to be very classy, gentleman, sophisticated, Stevie. And then I'm going to uh, style him in more like a Pee Wee's Playhouse type character, but okay. in his own so, character. Let me see what you're thinking. Uh, As if our day hasn't already gotten off to a late start, Beyonce has a photo shoot. Do you have the outfit? Yeah, I have the clothes here, so you can kind of Let's come see the clothes. 
I have an amazing photo shoot set up with Fab Ego Magazine, and which is owned by Yulia. And I was super excited today to do this photo shoot. We'll find more around your personality. Uh, but more stylish and fashionable, of course. But kind of like quirky, I comic, yeah. So, kind of that. Kind and I've of never done that. anything actually. This so, is why I wanted yeah. to do like this. Because you know what you're doing. I know. <laughs> I've never done something so fun. I'm yeah. actually in the mood right now to be quirky. Good. Great. Right? Quirky. So, you're going to be sophisticated to quirky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, so I need to shave more. my face and all that stuff. So. Yeah, uh, so that's going to be first. No, this is. Because you're going natural, oh, yeah. so okay, dark. So these are more the colors, so this would be like. Are we on a time crime? We're just trying to sort of maybe. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, let me get to. All right. I just arrived at the venue, and the first thing I definitely want to do right now is shave my face. Did you want him to shave? No. You don't want him to shave? Him. I'll see if he shaved yet. Excuse me. I'll see if he shaved yet. One of the biggest reasons why I want to shave my face at this exact moment is because I hate having hair on my face before a photo shoot. And I hate also showing people my face before a photo shoot with hair on it. That's not what she gives. Or he. Or whatever I give. I don't know. Whatever you want to accept. Just want to see him. How it totally different. Like, before. Yeah. You know what? I look like a totally different TV boy. So. I'm talking to Yulia and her team, and Yulia has informed me that she wants Stevie to keep his full beard. Not gonna happen. But I'm about to go in here and tell him you need to keep that beard, brother. She doesn't want you to shave. It's too late. I have to shave. It's happening. She I'll, doesn't I'll, want you to shave. It's too late. I'm halfway already. I'm already done. <laughs> you poor man. Yeah. And way down, you shave. Tell her. Tell her. Well, I know you're not going to shave without shaving, but now she wants me. She's going to want me to draw it on you. I'm not wearing this fucking beard, and if I have to wear this beard, then I'm gonna wear it outside. As of, I'm turning around. I'm going outside, and I'm not gonna be here. Hey everyone, take a snapshot of your favorite show clip and a hashtag all eyes on Stevie. I'll be picking three of you to join me for my New York Fashion Week after party. I hope to see you there. Living life to the fullest means being present in the moment. I understand the vision. I completely feel comfortable with her, her vision. Um, but I would never shoot with a beard. Exactly, and I don't think she. I would rather draw a beard on make it comical than ever actually have a real beard. That's like not what I would do. Like I didn't know, he was gonna say no. So now me, I have to go and be the messenger and let Yulia know that there will be no beard. There will be no growing a beard. There will be no drawing a beard, a beard of any sort, or mention of a beard. Because Stevie is a no beard gang. What's a beard? But like, he's already done it. And on top of that, he cut half his hair off. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always doing the most? Can you cooperate just one day? Seem name? too much is in full effect, honey. It is always seem too much, but why can't you just cooperate just one day at one moment at because one time? Because you would agree too. Like you just No, I know you don't. She you're just at the your beard. your your ideas and your but, perspective is just as important as anyone else that's been a part of this brand. So you completely understand that I would I know you're shoot. not gonna shoot. And you wouldn't want me to shoot like that anyway. I'm gonna it's up to you. I'm gonna lay on the floor because you like how am I gonna beat this face past all of this like stuff lumber jackman, you know, a T. Yes. Give me the full fall button. Yes, but that shows that you are a man. Look at that. I know, get into that. Oh, get you. into that. Yeah, like, I one. Mean, I mean, you are a man. I know, but this is my real voice now. It's not. This is all the time. I'm the makeup artist. I'm the messenger. The driver. The friend. The jewelry designer. I'm every Stevie. I don't, I don't know. I'm just all of them. Okay, I can't be bothered today. 
Yuli of the beards, all gone. It's all gone. It's gone. <laughs> that ship has sailed. It sailed a very long time ago. I know. Even though I'm a little warm, because we're late and behind schedule and I don't like late, it's time to get into the energy of things and get this face beat and get this photo shoot moving. Stevie and I, we have great energy and right now, I just need to draw some of his energy so we can keep moving forward. You not getting a brush. Honey, we better leave brows on. No, that's not what she said. Yeah. Hold your meal. You hold your meal. Yeah. You put that in your purse. I'm gonna put it in my purse. I'm not getting brows. I'm not getting brows to throw in a minute. She's getting a hint. Right. I'm going to taste a brow. Like, you know, little samples to give it away. Mm -hmm. It's a little safe way. A Walgreens. I don't know. No, the best shot. ones are a Sam's Club. The best Sam's Club. You're right. Yes, because you can get full honey on a Saturday. Yes, and not even grocery shop. You can get and it for a week. not even grocery shop. You can still want food alone. Yeah, I understand. But, um, I do like the looks. I mean, Oh yeah, the looks are dope. The shoes. The oh, the shoes, honey. Uh, I come with shoes too. Yeah. I am the full blow up dog. You've arrived. From the wazoo. Wow. I have arrived. And these eyebrows, I know they're gonna arrive too. No, they're not. One thing I realized in the midst of this shoot is that Yulia wants to capture the masculinity within me. Okay, and then the stylist wants to capture the fun and femininity, femininity, femininity. Uh oh, that's on replay within me too because honey, I'm used to saying that part, femininity. But uh, it's just interesting because I like both worlds, but I'm torn because they're opposite within wardrobe. What happened? That was me throwing underlined shade. <laughs> oh. I don't know what happened. Um, oh shit. Oh. I hope my clothes ain't getting mixed up with Because I will take that first. <laughs> this is a little bit more different for me because I'm always wearing black a lot, but I'm gonna actually go along with it. I kind of feel like it could kind of go somewhere, I guess. Oh, ten. It's a ten. We tried it. No socks, socks. Let's see how it feels. Does it feel like easier to slide it in with the socks? Oh, I'm going to need these socks. Okay, exactly. Are these shoes going to fit? Oh man. Yeah, you there. You got it. Oh, we got it in. I'm about to start buying tins now. <laughs> they look a little small. You got me wearing size 10 <laughs> shoes. They fit. I'm a size 12. <laughs> Shay, I'm a size 12 and I have a size 10 on. They actually fit and feel comfortable. I think, so I, I, think I have to recount my shoe size. You look so hot in that so You may need to. Oh my god. Sit right here. And my hip goes out. <laughs> oh. Now I feel the pain. This is what women go through with these shoes. Let's sit down and lace them. You're like the black Willy Wonka right now. <laughs> I am the black Willy Wonka. Peter Pan. A mixture of Peter Pan and Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. I look like you don't want your kids on. Stevie's <laughs> actually having a great time on set, and he keeps stealing all of my mint tea. So I'm assuming that this is a great shoot for him. like in a colorful wardrobe and everything but I was feeling myself even though she was asking me to like smile and do all this other stuff but I felt myself at the same time like in the all black and everything aka the restaurant as she would call it <laughs> 